You're watching WebRiseTV.com and I'm Silva. We're joined here by Jack and his 67 Camaro. Jack, fill us in about the history of this vehicle. Total rebuild, everything on this thing has been totally replaced. I uh, ended up thinking I was just going to do a daily driver type thing, throw some wheels and tires, some suspension to it, and kind of just not go quite as radical as the way I went. Now, a main feature of this vehicle is, of course, the engine. So can you tell us a bit about the block in this? It's a small block 383. It's been stroked. Uh, it's got blower pistons in it because of the supercharger on it. It's got AFR 210cc heads, Ross, Ross blower pistons, custom ground comp cam, about 600 horsepower, lots of torque. Jack, obviously with all that power behind the engine, you need some good brakes. So what do you got there? I've got bare disc brakes up front and rear. It's got the PBR calipers, 13 inch, two speed, two piece ro rotors up front, and I think it's a 12 inch on the rear. Jack, let's get into the transmission a bit. The Trenny's a TKO Tremec uh, 600, and it's got a McLeod clutch, and I think it's rated for about 600 foot pounds of torque. I was checking out your wheels before, and I uh, want to know where you got them from. Those are from Budnick. They're a shotgun, 20 by 10s in the rear, and 18 by 7s up front. Jack, I had a chance to sit inside your car, and it looks pretty immaculate. Thank you. It's got 2001 Trans Am seats in it. I wanted to keep that same muscle car look. I didn't want to get the so it was futuristic looking. I bumped the finish, so it's got a textured finish to the console. And then uh, I even did some brushed aluminum strips across the door panels, just replaced the stock one. One last question for you, the exhaust. Uh, the exhaust is three and a half inch to the X pipe and it's three inch out the rear. It's Dynamax mufflers. Sounds good. Now obviously you made a Hot Rod magazine only a couple of months ago, so that's just proof to me that this is one awesome machine.